Good morning. I'm out in the front here. Let's get started. There's a lovely bloom of explosion in the paint factory. Isn't that nice? Let's back it up a little. I love showing off explosion in the paint factory every day. Now here's a curious one. This is Tet Pigment of Imagination. It's a Tet conversion done by Larry Grace. You can see the flower is plum in color. By the end of the day, that'll be blue. It's a color changer. I wish I could do time-lapse photography and show you that. But I'm too busy. This is Heavenly Queen of Sheba from Jamie Gosser. Really pretty. Large flower, too. Let's go cruise along here. Looking for the best. Okay, here we go. You know... Just gotta say, Get Spiked has been pleasing every day. Tons of teeth. My pattern seedling out of Ominous has been very consistent as well. Let's come on down the line. See now, this, this flower that daylily there. That scape got attacked by gall midge. I gotta cut it off and throw it away. All right, what looks striking in this corner? I, I'll have to show, I showed it yesterday, I'll show it again. This is Elaine Seaford's Pitbull Princess. Doing its thing. Large blooms, easy to set pods on and According to Elaine, a good parent. Okay. Let's bounce out here. The purple is going to town. Here's the future Bentor. Bentor with these monster tall scapes. Some of the purples look good, some don't. I'll show you this one seedling over here. Pretty nice. That's out of prey without ceasing, and I believe Dr. Francis Baker. Here's a better one, though. At least I like it better because of the scape. Check the scape. Some branching there. All right. Here's a seedling out of Dr. Francis Baker that's got that bluish eye zone. Here's another shot of Bentor. Future intro Bentor. Nice. All right. There's a seedling out of Justin Tor and Trouble in Paradise. Really tall scape. Interesting flower. Coming around. Here. I always have to make a pit stop here. This is Steve Moldovan's namesake, Daylily. That's pretty cool. And look at all the blooms on needles in, a, in the haystack. Kim Kuzminski. It's a hybridizer. And my mother's namesake, Daylily's showing off today. Wish it was taller. Here's a nice one. I may wind up introducing this. This is out of Song of the Seas and Frank Harnaker. And it's a cold morning. All the blooms are open. It's got a nice scape. Might make the cut. Here's a pattern seedling out of uh, Venetian Pools and Fractured. Showing a nice pattern today. It's not bad. Yeah, here's another look at that Justin Tor Trouble in Paradise seedling. Nice and tall. There's a, our introduction yellow card, which I know is on the Lily auction for 45 bucks. This is a speckled seedling out of Wacky Wednesday in Kenlock. Sort of interesting. 
I'll show the feature intro. I haven't named it yet. What else? Here, I'll show this toothy and then I'm gonna shut it off. This is out of Jammin's Thunder and White Lightning and Mom's Kind Heart, showing some pretty decent teeth. All right, all right, we're back and we're out along the front yard. I had to show off this lovely yellow seedling out of, let me see if I can build that, out of Lemon Dazzler and Wowie Cherokee. So pretty in the sunshine. And I wanted to show this trio of blooms of Chad Bush's Pink Puma. Isn't that excellent in just about every way? There's one back there. Nice teeth. I love everything about that. That is pretty. Let's move on down the row here. Got a nice bloom of Chester Culpa today from John Culpa. And behind it we have Anne Marie Culpa, also from John Culpa. And Patricia Kotovich from John Culpa. Very nice. I have to show off this newcomer to the garden. This is from Mike George's. This is called Dream Thief. Dream Thief is excellent. <laughs> Man, am I lucky to have this in the garden. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Yep, that's really special. All right, here, let me show a heart for Jesus from Nan Ripley today. That's a very pretty red. Uh, we got a new bloom from Test Pattern from Pat Stamelli. It's pretty. All right, to the back, to the back. There's just a couple down here today. Not so many. Um, let me pull up here. Fractured's doing its thing with interesting patterns. Yeah, like nothing you haven't already seen. But this is a new one. This is Every Knee Shall Bow from Carol Emmerich. Pretty blue eye. Really nice flower. And let's take a look at today's bloom of What's Another Cat? Because it's got some things going on. That's kind of cool. How the petals almost have streaks. That's nice. Let's come down to the end here. Got Sunberry Splatter. Bill Waldrop doing its thing. Quite possibly one of my favorites in the row, Minnesota Key from Tim Bell. Does excellent teeth. No problems opening on a cold morning either. It's a good one, if I may say so myself. And of course, Tom Holston's King Bee. Gotta love those teeth. King Bee, I got three blooms today. Loving that. And I think I'll close it out. We got a couple here. We got Speaks Volumes from Ted Petit. And then my seedling out of the Undefinable Kid. A couple purple seedlings, nothing worth writing home for. One out of Shannara, one out of Dr. Francis and Pray Without Ceasing. Probably gonna get called. All right, hope you have a great day.